who still has the legs to be able to give the movement that's absolutely necessary tonight against the player role in the fight. But in the center of the ring, it's like a ridge going through the ring. We've talked about it through the that all through the fight. Yes, of course. And that's Broner's nerve. In his past performances, getting off to a rather, not necessarily slow start, but takes the first few rounds to see what his opponent comes out after he's seen what his opponents can do. What we saw in his last fight against Broner, utilizing that Philly shell, made famous by the likes of James Tony and Kenny Norton. As well. Looks for the lead left hook that catches nothing but air out of the exit just past the minute mark of the second round Malinaji attacking the body the combination there's a nice straight right hand that tags Malinaji fight focusing more on conditioning than strength for this fight as they continue to throw leather Malinaji attacking the body while Broner able to pick him off upstairs with a straight right anybody expecting a fight that wasn't interesting a fascinating fight already so far very entertaining start three punch combination coming
Malinaji is taking so much punishment. But Malinaji continues to throw punches and bunches. He has been very active, and even in the last round, uh, Malinaji threw a lot of punches. But Broner is landing so much oh. harder punches. Well, Malinaji, though, taking the fight to Broner in the center of the ring here. There's a left that you can hear. And but Malinaji fighting valiantly off the ropes. He's landing some very nice shots. They're looking to land one more big shot and does with the left hook. It's the first minute of the 11th. Matching punch for punch though with Malinaji. He's thrown exactly the same amount. Oh, and there's a big left. Left hook connects. Malinaji goes to the body again. Under a minute left in the 11th round. And the welterweight champion, a prohibitive underdog. And the left hook now. Yeah, tasting more of that power. And the right hand connects by Broner. Counter left hook by Malinaji. Jab by Malinaji. But finds himself in the corner. Broner lands the right hand. And then the double left. One to the body and one to the... With Adrian Broner while he has controlled the number of rounds. And landed big power punches. I have problem winning four rounds in this one. And the challenger. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Glenn Feldman scores about 115 to 113 in favor of Adrian Broner. Judge Tom Miller sees it 115 to 113 in favor of Pauli Malinaji. And judge at ringside, Tom Shrek sees it 117 to 111 in favor of the winner and the new WWE Welterweight Champion of the World, Adrian the Problem Broner. Final thought. Any regrets about anything that went on in the pre-fights and all the news conferences? Negative. I'm good. I beat Polly. I left with his belt and his girl. Adrian, congratulations on winning the title. Polly, come on in. Hey, I'm just saying, you lost. I know, I know, I lost. But, but don't, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, don't brag about taking my side piece. Don't brag about taking my side piece, though. That's my side piece. You don't get laid. All right, all right.